Guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? So, um, this is going to be a twin flame reading for September the 4th until the 11th. So, it's going to be overlapping the last reading. Um, I didn't do a Divine Masculine and Feminine reading for you. Instead, I did a Wave 1, Wave 2. So, I think things got a little confusing, perhaps, with the Wave 1, Wave 2. So, we're just going to leave it as one reading. You know, there's uh, a lot of division that um, you know tends to happen within the twin flame uh, community so um, you know everybody has a twin flame out there okay there isn't a, a, a special group of people that have twin flames it all has to do with consciousness whether you're or not you're ready to see beyond that which would what we cannot see do you know what I mean the ethereal um, so yeah, when you've reached that point, um, I see it as, you know, your twin flame helps you expand even more. Um, it kind of like they validate certain things, certain questions that you might have had um, through synchronicities and that kind of thing. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to do the twin flame reading just using my deck in my deck alone. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards per position and um, we'll go through that. So, let's see here. Yeah, um, I'm not going to pull the cards first. Let's just go through the positions. All right, so beginning with the feminine. Um, I'll go, I'll pull the cards and then I'll go through it. Okay, here we go. I'm such a spaz. All right, so eight of wands, uh, six of swords, and the divine feminine. So the Eight of Wands, past position, this obviously uh, could mean communication, right? Texting, phone calls, that kind of thing. Um, but it also represents accelerated motion. So things are revving up. Um, it's a card of manifestation as well. So whatever vibrations you send out into the, to the universe, um, whatever desires, um, you know, whatever seeds of intention that you sent out is starting to manifest. So this is in the distant past position, right? So... Um, the Six of Swords is in the present past position. So this is moving away from negative thoughts, negative people, or negative energy. Um, so I feel, you know, there was this momentum building. There was this excitement. And the feminine had a moment of introspection where she, you know, it's almost like she's hesitating or she pulled back or she had these you know, these thoughts consume her, and um, so she may have sought, you know, some solitude for a time, right? So, you know, this is going separate ways, but um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a complete split, right? You're, you're parting uh, so that you can find some solitude and make decisions, right? So, all of the energy that's surrounding this is positive. That's why I'm reading it as a, a positive card. So the future position is the divine feminine or the empress, the goddess of love. Um, so back here we have Cupid's arrows and here we have the goddess, right, of love. So this is all about love. It is being able to release your love, let it go. And if it was truly yours and it comes back to you, right, that which is truly yours can never leave. Um, so there's a sense that you, the feminine, um, through this release, um, through sending out positive vibrations into the universe, um, she was able to find herself again, right? She, she stepped into her beauty, her yin energy, uh, very, you know, it's a surrender, um, very nice. Okay, so the masculine's past position, three, or sorry, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, very nice, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so um, I've decided that from here on out, I'm not going to be reading um, any of the court cards as their zodiac signs. From now on, uh, these cards represent um, the feminine energy, all the queens represent the, all the feminine energy, and vice versa. Okay, so... Um, the Queen of uh, Pentacles is an Earth energy. So if you can, you know, if you want to uh, take that 
you know, comment and do a little research for yourself, then you can, you know, basically figure it out on your own, right? So I just want to concentrate on the energy of the card and not people because it just complicates things too much. So here we have an earth energy. Earth or pentacle um, is groundedness. It has to do with the 3D reality. So the queen um, representing the divine feminine or yin uh, is being represented as somebody who is successful, very loving, very giving, nurturing. This is mother earth. So she spreads her seeds for all, okay? She is somebody who is independent, wealthy, um, successful. So it could be a businesswoman um, or, you know what I mean? She's, she could be a businesswoman and also a full-time, or a, um, a single mom at the same time. There's this, you know, um, success and groundedness that come with this card. So the masculine sees a feminine as this energy, very grounded, very successful, um, independent. The Four of Wands is confirmation of a twin flame connection. So I use this card. Um, normally I use, oh, a mosquito. Oh, sorry. Um, so the Four of Wands is, um, I usually use, the, you know, the, I also have another card, the 1111 card. Uh, that is a confirmation. So I kind of try to keep the original meaning for this card, although it is confirmation. Um, so this is, um, you know, it could represent marriage or engagement, buying a home together, traveling, but there's a sense of union, the, you know, you and your soulmate are, are true love coming together and being with the, each other in the 3D reality, right? So you sit in front of this this fire and just relaxing in each other's, um, you know, vibration or love, whatever. Uh, so the future position is the seven of pentacles. So this is the gestation period. This is pregnant pause. So there's a feeling here that he's desiring a 3D connection with the feminine, that he recognizes this soul connection on a deep level, right? He desires this. He feels... Um, he feels, you know, the desire of 3D is very important to him, especially with this card as well. So the Four of Wands, not only is it a union of the Twin Flames, but it's union in the 3D reality, okay? So um, the Seven of Pentacles is also an Earth energy, so very grounded, earthy 3D manifestation is on his mind. And, you know, at the heart of the matter is the, you know, this true love, uh, union energy, but there's a wait. Um, so he's waiting for the ships to return. He, he, he had to wait for something to happen before, um, he can fully manifest this, right? So this is contemplation. It's, um, you know, reviewing everything. It's reconsidering things and so that you don't make the same mistakes in the future. So there's a sense that he's built up, um, some stability, uh, abundance in his life, and he's contemplating where he's going to invest next. But also he's waiting for harvest, he's waiting for something to happen before he actually moves forward. So right now what I'm seeing here is um, either some of the twins have come together um, and this is motivating the masculine to move forward, or he has this, this 3D union on on his mind but there's something that's holding him back so the feminine's present position the eight of pentacles seven of swords and the ten of pentacles so the eight of pentacles past position um so this is one card more than the seven so this is the harvest you start to see your payoff right you're this it's positive movement forward with within the, the 3D reality. So there's abundance coming in and you're starting to feel stable. You're, you're putting money away or you're, um, you're head of the game, right? So the feminine has put a lot of work and effort into manifesting her dreams into the reality, into the 3D reality. And she's highly, highly successful with the 10 of pentacles in the future position. So there's this momentum that's building and growing, and the masculine can see how success, successful she's becoming. 
you know, how giving she is, right? And it all seems to do with her sole purpose or sole mission. She's um, on fire. Do you know what I mean? He's kind of watching from a distance. Um, so the Seven of Swords in the Feminine's present position. So this is a progression here. We've got the Six of Swords in the present, and it's built into the Seven of Swords. So this is deception, envy, feeling like somebody's betraying you, not telling you the entire truth. So um, you're looking at the masculine, and you feel you know like there's something that he isn't telling you, um, something he needs to confess, or something that he might have done in the past that kind of had you questioning him. So right in, you know, at this moment, there's the feminine is holding on to some negative thoughts that I thought maybe she was able to, to release in the past, but, um, but it's not obviously, it's, it's a building, right? So this may be something that's beneath the surface, something that you're not fully um, healing from. Um, but you will ultimately, because you know the Divine Feminine or Empress card. This is a major arcana. It's a heavy major energy in the reading. So, you know, this is you being your true authentic self, living your life purpose, right? You're just, um, you know, Mother Earth, but to the extreme. So it's in the future position. So this could be. Um, the future of the past or future of the future, right? Depending on what the cards around it say. So there's a sense of a weight on the masculine side. And during this weight, the feminine, you know, is circling through negative thoughts, but really there's a lot of positive energy around her. However, she needs to really check that because um, it could fester, right? There's a sense of her guarding her treasures right i've worked so hard here and i don't know if i want to share it with you so the ten of pentacles in the future position is right that long-term goal it is ultimate manifestation of your goals um, she's worked hard to build this um, not necessarily an empire but it's a stability right a long-term stability so this is like retirement but it's in the future so it's a it's a ten which is a completion and she's working towards it right and it's almost like she's guarding um, her riches okay so the masculine's present position the tower the ace of wands and the two of swords so tower past position this is the house of cards so a slight breeze is going to come in and knock it down right anything built on a lie or illusion will come down eventually it will come crumble down and once it does um it is meant to to wash away the things that no longer serve you and so that a new structure a healthy structure can be built upon it so you can see that healthy structure right here um with the four of wands this is a loving environment um shared between you know true love um, soulmates right so there was the tower in the past position um, now it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing but there's a sense that something came in very quickly and it shattered an illusion or it um, began a domino effect that is ultimately changing the 3d reality the Ace of Wands in the present position is um, a brand new beginning, so starting from zero, okay? So it's that spark, right? Here we have a four, which is turning into this blazing fire, but here we have that Kundalini awakening. So from this destruction, there came awareness, illumination, and a realization that there these false structures were holding the masculine back and so the ace of wands is going embarking on um, a spiritual journey right one that's going to bring you closer to your your truth um, so this could also be a creative idea but it's a beginning of something incredible an aha moment an epiphany an awakening so he is you know, this is also the golden thread connecting the crown chakra to source. So from this explosive 
destruction. There was this illumination, and he's in that um, that zone or that place or that connectedness at this moment, and it's fueling. It's fueled by you know the twin flame connection, right? It's the twin flame connection or union, the four of wands, um, created the tower and is is illuminating, continuing to fuel the masculine in the present moment with the Ace of Wands. So the Two of Swords in the future position is indecision. It's having two choices. Um, and so he's going to come to a crossroads and he needs to make a decision, right? He's, he's being, he's being given a choice between continuing to live in an illusion, the tower, you know, do I go back to the life, to the way that things were, right, and, and try to pick up the pieces and put it all back together, or do I move forward with this new beginning? So, again, a sense of contemplation, reviewing, considering. He's, he always seems to be in this state of mind. All right, so um, the near future for the feminine, Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So Five of Swords, past position, conflict. Um, so this is drama, negative finger pointing, right? And so it's coming in the past position, cool synchronicity, because it's coming from this Six of Swords, right? She's already walked away from this negative energy in the past, but it's resurfacing over and over again right so it's it's lingering in the distance so these are um you know negative finger pointing like you did this wrong you did that wrong you're not good enough right it's belittling somebody so she is turning her her attention away from it but she does continue to get drawn back into it so the four of cups is her looking to the past longing it's a disconnect, boredom, feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. And it's because she feels separated, right? She feels, she desires the Ten of Cups, which is a happily ever after. She's getting the Ten of Pentacles, which is even better. Um, but there's this desire. I'm not seeing the Ten of Cups as a manifestation of her dreams because the Four of Cups um, is in the future. So it's like... She, she feels love, she feels harmony and peace within herself, but when she looks to the past, she, she tenses up and closes off, right, with the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups there. So I definitely see that she feels unconditional love, but it's, you know, it's like that, the, you know, she has this crack here, of negative energy that then splits into two pieces of negative energy, right? So it's like an opening and closing kind of feeling here, actually. Yeah. Anyway, you kind of get what I'm talking about. All right, so the near future for the masculine, Ace of Cups, Lover's Card, and the Ten of Wands. Wow. So a lot of completions here, a lot of tens, right? So the ten of wands future reduces to one, eight of, of cups, past position is, um, you know, aces, a one, right? So a lot of new beginnings on the masculine side, but it's going to come to this culmination with the ten of wands. So the ace of cups, past position is um, feeling true love within you, right? This card only shows up when you've healed yourself, you've let go of the past, forgiven yourself, forgiven others, and you're truly open to receive love into your life. So th there's this feeling of true love that came in. And you can see that with the Four of Wands. Okay, so it's this deep loving connection, but there's a sense of separation. It's a desire. It's looking to the past, wanting this, you know, feeling the tower's destruction, but still being stuck at a crossroads. So, the, you know, he desires this Ace of Cups, Right, he's looking to it, um, and then it's, there's a sense that it feels this passion within him. The lover's card is a deep love and passion for your true, true love. Right, it's that connection that you feel only with them and without any, you know, not with anyone else. So 
it's you know this passion is ignited within him you know um, this is heart chakra activation here and so that is the motor that drives him continues him you know causes him to continue forward or or move forward with an idea um, I can feel a momentum is building and it's about to erupt is what I feel like a volcano okay and I'm saying that because of the ten of wands so the ten is um, being caught in the machine working day in day out burning the candle at both ends carrying all the burden so he, you know, there's this, you know, like I said, a volcano that's building and is about to erupt. And it's like he collapses in exhaustion. And from that ending, the Ace of Wands then comes in, right? There's a reduction from the Ten to the Ace. And so that allows that new beginning to fully come through or, you know, begin, if you want to call it that. So... Um, that Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands um, comes forward, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. My brain isn't working so well today. Sorry, guys. All right, so the final come for the Feminine, the Six of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Heart Chakra. Awesome. So Six of Wands past position is the rock star. Everyone's cheering you on. Um, they see you as an example. They're proud of you. So there was this moment of feeling successful, feeling, you know, appreciated. Um, yeah. This moment of clarity or illumination in the past. So this is being on a spiritual path and feeling successful about it. Right, so the Page of Cups is the muse. So this is sending messages. Uh, it's communication of love. So either communication comes in or the feminine sends this communication out. But it is, you know, it's the Eight of Wands is in the past here. This is Cuba Zeros. It's sending that vibration. And it's almost like she re she attracts that vibration back to her tenfold it comes in with the uh, heart chakra card so um, what I feel here is what she desires is this loving connection this new beginning um, and I feel that's what she attracts back to her that's what's manifested back to her so this is unconditional love beautiful Okay, so final outcome for the masculine, nine of cups, nice, wow, six of cups, and nice, third eye chakra, so nine of cups past position, so he has the nine of cups and the ace of cups, there's a ten of cup vibration in the past that he's bringing in, uh, and the feminine, remember, has the ten of cups over here, so the nine of cups is feeling like you're you're um, you're arriving at this place um, where you feel satisfied, right? You're um, you're celebrating love. Uh, you're surrounded by friends and family. You know, you're listening to music and enjoying the wine, that kind of thing. It's just a a celebratory environment. So. I'm almost thinking, I'm almost feeling reunion energy, you know, again, some of you may have come into contact with each other and, um, and it opened this heart chakra within the masculine and he began to feel excited about the future, right? Again, it's a sense that there's this passion that is fueling him at the moment he, he, sorry, was it this way around? Yeah, I think so, right? Eh? Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, at the moment, it's, there seems to be this hesitation, a forced hesitation, perhaps. But ultimately, he can't take it anymore. And it's almost like the tower comes back in again. And, and you know, it's like he has no choice. You know, I can't be stuck in this machine. I don't want to do this. I'm, 
it's like I'm wasting my life if I, if I continue, right? So he, it's like he puts an end to it so that he can't have that new beginning. Nine of Cups, wish fulfilled, and it's coming in the past position. So again, love is driving him. Six of Cups is reunion. Somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, somebody from previous life, somebody that you had deep, pure love for. So again, pointing to the past, the Four of Cups, that passion, right? It, so um, this is memories of love. He's thinking of how happy he was. And so either he draws that energy to him, because that is what he de desires, um, or he moves forward. So the third eye chakra is in the future position. So this is using your intuition uh, to guide you. But it's illumination. It's like he comes to this moment of clarity within his own knowing. And he can see how this, this person, this feminine, has guided him through you know, this journey, even though he wasn't with her in the 3D, um, she was there in spirit, always there, you know, encouraging him, showing him love, and by his side in the 5D. So he's using his love and intuition to, and passion to move him forward towards what he, what he desires is reunion. And here, you know, we have that third eye chakra and the heart chakra in the future position. So there's this incredible moment of true love and clarity or truth, inner knowing. So let me just pull a card from Call It Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle, because I'm kind of curious as to what this moment is. You know, it's like either the feminine sends out a message, she feels successful, she feels confident, and sends that message out. And as a result, it, it, it's like it causes some type of synchronicity or awakening moment in the masculine um, that, you know, either brings love to him or I don't know. Um, it activates him in some way or vice versa. Okay, so... What do you mean by the third eye chakra and heart chakra in the future position in spirit, please? So, chaos and conflict, and I pulled it upside down. So, should I read it in reverse? Because I'm not really feeling that it goes well with the two cards, but let's see what it says. Okay, so chaos and conflict in reverse, 33, and I actually opened it to 22 by accident, so those double numbers. Okay, so the protection message. This is an advantage time, moment, sorry, to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Even in the seeming chaos, there is a kind of divine order a complete resorting of the elements. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there is a positive news. The timing is perfect. Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know and how the situation affects you long term. Um, be present in the eye of the chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, the eye of chaos. So there's a sense that you guys just jump into each other's arms is what I'm feeling here, right? There's this beautiful embrace and um, awakening that comes from this moment. And there's celebration both on you know, both sides. There's this beautiful energy that's drawing the two of them together. 
Okay, so um, now I'm going to pull the union energy. So, um, what is the feminine bringing into the union? The chariot, the seven of cups, and the three of pentacles. Okay, so the chariot past position is movement forward. Um, it's taking control of your life. It is focusing your attention on your goals and overcoming obstacles, not letting anything stop you. Okay, so you can kind of see that energy, that momentum building on our side, right? We got that accelerated motion in the past. This is positive movement forward. There's these moments of hesitation with the split mind in the near future, but then she comes back to this oneness as an outcome. But she is trying to manifest um, this ultimate happy ending, which she ultimate does, ultimately does, but it is really requiring her to take control of her thoughts. We see a lot of swords here, right? The, the uh, five, six, sorry, the five, six, seven, and then we have a four of cups. So that's em an emotional, that's uh, an emotional attachment. So she is unchaining herself. So there is movement forward in the past, but in the, mo the present moment, there's more of a, a hesitation, a stall, a reconsideration, and then she picks up the reins again and moves forward ultimately manifesting um, this abundance into her reality, unconditional love and authenticity into her reality. Um, so moments of hesitation is what I see here. So the Seven of Cups in her present moment, this is uh, knowing what she wants, right? There's her goal and she's going after it. But then in this moment here, there's a sense that, oh, wait, you know, I lost the map or I, I, uh, maybe I took a wrong turn. So she knows what she wants, but she doesn't know how to get there. There's a lot of options. So she is at a crossroads in terms of how she feels about this connection. She moved forward very controlled in the past, but it's like she pulled back the reins and went, hold on a minute here. Um, where did I go wrong? And you can kind of see that looking to the past and questioning energy here. So the future position is the three of pentacles. So this is a firm, solid foundation, groundedness. So um, let's see here. We ha she has the eight of pentacles in the past position. So that's, you know, a successful, um, solid structure that she's created there. Um, but there's almost a sense that she's trying too hard to manifest love into her life. What she's manifesting is 3D abundance, you know, um, but the heart is missing. And so what I feel here is maybe she lets go of something in 3D, you know, says, okay, you know, it, it isn't worth it. If you need to take that, then go ahead, take that. Um, I feel I need to let go of some attachments because it comes with conditions, right? And it leaves me in a space of longing, um, wanting that happy home, right? And wondering if it's ever going to happen. And so I feel she releases an idea or a dream that she started in the past in order to find some comfort within herself. Right, so she have, she may have decided to move somewhere. She didn't know how to get there, but ultimately it brings her to a stable new beginning is what I'm seeing here. Right, there's a sense that she put a lot of work into something in the past, but she needed to walk away from it. And so here she's building a new foundation or a new start with the masculine. <clears throat> Sorry, this is more of a partnership um, feeling with the Three of Pentacles there. Okay, so what is the masculine bringing in? The Queen of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so um, some disconnect and some heartbreak is what I see here. 
So past position, queen of cups. So the feminine not only is being represented as highly successful, loving and giving, generous, um, but as a very deeply loving woman, unconditional love, right? Sending this beautiful vibration. And you can see that in her past. And it's being confirmed on the masculine side. He's feeling that love. He feels it. No doubt about it. And he sees her, he, or the feminine, as a beautiful, loving, open, intuitive um, woman. So the Five of Cups is heartbreak, mourning, pain. So this is being attached to perhaps uh, the feminine emotionally. And maybe there was a disconnect that is causing him some pain in the present moment. Um, or there's something that he also needs to release, right? He's making a decision, which way do I go? Ultimately, he chooses love, right? Um, but right now, it is, it's tearing him apart inside. The illusion, do I hold on to the illusion? Where do I go now? Right, I thought, I think I'm pretty sure the two of swords was in the future. Right? So, yeah, um, so five of cups, five of pentacles. So this is more of a transition energy. It's in between states. The future five of pentacles is um, a release of something in 3D. So it's cutting the chain. It is, um, it also represents feeling alone, feeling left out in the cold. So the, the masculine has a price to pay. Um, you know, there's a sense that the, the tower came with a price, right? But he he makes it through the fire. Um, and so this could also mean that he needs to release himself from something in the 3D reality to find his freedom. But he knows it's going to cause pain and heartbreak. But ultimately, the, the masculine's heart is breaking. He's, he's guarding his heart. Um... He's thinking too much, right? He just needs to go for it. The, the Ace of Wands is the go light, go time, right? But then it's, it's like he slams on the brakes, okay? So in, um, I think as a foundation, I'm going to pull, no, you know what? Let's just continue on. So as a foundation, no, I need to do it actually, sorry, because... Uh, that would mean I would only be pulling two cards, one each. So let's just pull one card from Cult Ben Reed. Oh, okay. Um, Wisdom of the Oracle. So we got Message in a Bottle as a foundation. I'm going to just stay there. Okay. Um, crowning is Breathe. And Heart Centered Energy is Deep Knowing. Wow. Beautiful. So I'll look at the bottom of this deck for the overall energy, and we'll save that as a surprise. Okay, so message in a bottle. Let me read that to you. This book on my lap. All right. So these are union energy, so it's energy shared between the two of you. Okay. Actually, I'm going to pause the video real quick. Um, so I just turned over the bottom of the deck, which is why. Okay, so the overall energy here is, yeah, you can see that contemplation for sure. Why? Questioning why, right? And you see that contemplation there as well. So this, there seems to be a pause um, to reconsider but at the heart there's this deep knowing that this union is meant to be it's true love right okay so um yeah just let me pause that real quick okay sorry about that guys all right so i kind of arranged the cards a little bit better so you can see them um so let me get my cards another shuffle and I think I'll start with um, the overall energy. I'll read that to you because I was noticing the very cool synchronicities here. The question is why, all right? And 
the answer is given. Most definitely, I can see. So, um, yeah, let's begin with the overall energy here, which is why, questioning why. And you can see that, you know, at each level here. So the Six of Swords, it's like, you know, she's looking to the past. She's seeing negative energy, negative vibrations, right? So she's making a choice to go within, disconnect, and focus on self-love. Um, here we have present moment, uh, seeing her goal with the Seven of Cups, not knowing how to get there, so questioning, clouded energy. Um, Seven of Swords, this is the union energy, right, that she's bringing into the union. Then we have her present moment as the Seven of Swords. Again, questioning. Okay, um, but on either side, there's this stability and movement. Um, the near future, same thing, questioning. Four of Cups, past position, Five of Swords. Um, but at the heart of the matter is love and there's movement or action in the future and manifestation, one of the two, okay? So on the masculine side, um, a sense of contemplation here, the Seven of Pentacles, looking at the past, reviewing it, um, feeling heartbroken, realizing that some disconnect is required in the union, right? So there's a feeling of n needing to, or knowing what he needs to do, um, and but contemplating the next right move uh, so it's present moment again two of swords contemplation indecision and then future you know there's this moment of complete or sorry clarity and completion right it's like okay i know what i want and then it's manifested there's this moment of clarity intuition and and it's driven by love okay so there's at every level the question is asked why so let me read that so number 31 all right so it says motives driving intention the power of knowing the why so we don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way that we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize where you are being triggered by someone else, or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? Why did I say that? And spend some time in introspection. The answers may be surprising. Listen to the, the messages from your intuition, from a knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself and others? Um, in the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are the buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today, why? So there you go, right? That's why these two cards are showing up in that final position. It's intuition and love. Absolutely beautiful synchronicity here. Beautiful. So this moment, you know, this time of introspection is, its purpose is to bring both aspects to this, you know, deep space of knowing. So, um, since this is union energy, I'm not going to pull... Actually, I already shuffled the cards, didn't I? Subconsciously, I shuffled them. Um, I was going to say I'm not going to pull any clarifiers, but since I shuffled them, let's do that. So I'm going to read the foundation card first. So this is message in a bottle. Um, this represents um, synchronicities. Um, you know, divine guidance. Okay, so communication, a sign, uh, Cledon, uh, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. Okay, so the meaning. You can expect some, someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. Um, you're the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. Um, 
you know what, let me go ahead and read the oracle message because it, ha it has a little bit more of a deeper meaning to it. So, Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. When you believe, you will receive them. And when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracle, oracles, and omens, they may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open. For someone might be, sorry, for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your messages is this, is this, spirit hears you, and the reply is favorable. Oh my God, isn't that what I was saying? It's like, over here, he was looking for a sign or something, and then there's this moment of clarity, and that's all he needed, right? It's exactly what I said. Um, and, and this is also kind of pointing to, to what I was saying at the beginning of the video. I kind of went off on this weird tangent, and now I'm understanding why I did that. Actually, when I was talking, I was kind of like, oh my God, you're weird. <laughs> but now I understand. It's like, um, you know, only those who have reached a certain level of consciousness is able to pick up on those signs and synchronicities, right? So spirit is kind of showing off here a little bit, um, right? Signs and synchronicities with the message in the bottle, um, questioning, asking the question why, and you can see that synchronistically leading up to this climatic point of, of knowing, right? You're following your heart. I feel this pain in my heart because of this disconnect. Um, is this love true? Yes, I feel it. I know it deep within myself. So since I shuffled the darn cards, let's pull one card for the feminine, divine masculine, not surprised to see that, and nice, the queen of no fucks given. So the masculine definitely has the feminine on his mind, right? So the queen of pentacles, queen of cups, and here we have the queen of wands. So the queen of wands is someone who is the center of attention, very charismatic. She's a leader. She shines her light, very vibrant, right? So it's like she is his beacon and vice versa. Um, so... You know, it's like, and, and the, the Queen of Wands is also somebody who's spiritual, right? Right. So wand spirituality. And you can see this passion that is ignited um, with the Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, uh, the Lovers, um, the Ten of Wands. There's this culmination with this eruption. So I'm not surprised to see the Queen of uh, Wands here as a foundation. It's a passion of his. And... You know, he's getting signs and synchronicities, possibly. Or that he desires communication. So, the feminine is bringing in the divine masculine, the emperor. So, he, she sees the masculine for who he truly is, right? Um, you know, she understands this journey is to bring the... Um, the divine masculine and feminine together in true harmony, right, in union. So she's she understands that. That's what's motivating her. Um, and so she's reflecting this masculine energy back to him. He sees her as the queen. Um, and I feel that he realizes who she is with the third eye chakra, right, in the future. So... That could be where this future card in the past shows up. It's this deep knowing and understanding. Um, you know, it's because of the passion that he feels within himself. So you, what I feel, you're sending, the feminine is sending vibrations um, out into the universe um, and vice versa. Okay. You're both beacons for one another. You know, there's this cord that connects the two mirror images. It's beautiful. Also, um, the divine, or so the emperor is fire energy, right? The emperor. So the crowning energy is breathe. So this is meditation. It's taking a break. It's slowing down. So nothing has fully stopped. It's like this 
this moment of introspection and then movement forward with, you know, with a deep knowing, right? So number 29. Okay, so, whoops, really? Sorry about that. Okay, dokey. So, patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, trust. So, it says, don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course, release constriction and anxiety, for there is no need for tension, savor the moment, and the waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. So, yeah, it's like that pause, you can see that pause, right? And you both know that this pause, um, you know, it's not coming from this anxious, egg, um, anxiety-ridden state, right? There's always a return back to the heart, is what I'm seeing here. So, it's almost like you're both aligning your chakras, and, you know, you're, you're balancing one another. Um, okay, so one card for the feminine first, eight of cups, and... In sacral chakra. So the Eight of Cups is withdrawing emotionally. It is, you know, and, and here we have the emotion card. So right now there's a sense that there's some emotions may be charged, okay? On the masculine side, there's a sense of with, well, actually they're both withdrawing, but the, the masculine, um, is in a lower vibration. There's a sense that he's afraid to express his emotions, right? Um, the Five of Cups is emotional loss, heartbreak, right? And so he's really struggling with finding a way to express himself. And so he's withdrawing in order to come from a place of pure love, which he ultimately does. Okay, so the Eight of Cups is um, emotional withdrawal, but it is um, a very, um, it's a temporary withdrawal, you know, it's, it's not leaving for good, it's withdrawing in order to discover a truth within yourself. So this is a journey to self, okay, so the feminine is withdrawing while the masculine is trying to express himself or open up, right? Remember, uh, the meaning of this card is that the time, the heart needs time to open. And you can see that it opens full bloom, right? In, in the future, but there's um, some still some healing that is required. Uh, the Five of Cups is actually a closed heart. Okay, so there's a sense of him detaching and opening up, but um, it comes, there's a pause and it will happen. So the heart-centered energy is deep knowing. Isn't that beautiful? Remember the question posed is why? Well, there's the answer, deep knowing, right? The heart chakra, third eye chakra, incredible synchronicities happening here. So, 43. Okay, so, intuition, listening to the oracle within. Um, empathy, hypersensitivity. So, there are occasions when you just know deep in your heart and soul that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly, out of the blue, you're connected at a, at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched indeli indelibly into your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey, so pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign 
that your intuition about a person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? Both aspects know deep in their souls that this is their true love. The question, why? Because I know I can feel it. Beautiful. So I'm not even going to pull any cards for that. So I'm going to pull two final cards for Message from the Universe. And I will read those to you. So uh, uh, let me know, you know what you think about this spread. I'm always kind of trying to change things up a little bit. And uh, please leave a comment. I really enjoy reading them. Um, and yes, like, subscribe, please. Uh, show your love by subscribing. Okay, okay, so this one for the feminine. Archambault Mermaid. And top one for the masculine, Alchemical Seas. Whoa, seriously? Right? Oh my God. Um, remember that um, this card was pointing to the fact that two hearts are calling to one another and that an alchemical process is about to happen. Magic is about to be made. That's un unbelievable. And this is Archambault and Mermaid and Alchemical Seas. It's kind of the same idea. So I'll read the feminine first, number 18. Alone we drift distractedly, a party drawn apart, together we're invincible, living work of art. At first glance, uh, she's a pretty mermaid lass, gazing soulfully with her large pale eyes. A closer inspection reveals a myriad of fish and other ocean dweller dwellers that comprise of her luxuriant tail, combining to create a living work of art. The sum of your parts, lately you have been experiencing feelings of self-deprecation. Maybe you have been studying the, your figure with dissatisfying eye or bemoaning the size of your feet. You need to stop the hypocritical and analyzing before you sink any lower. You are so much more than the collection of your parts. Other people do not look at you through the lens of a microscope, and it is unhealthy to do so for yourself. Concentrate instead on the beautiful person you are as a whole and treat yourself with love and affection. Okay, so it wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the feminine is questioning her beauty, right? Ultimately, she discovers her beauty within with the empress in the future position, but it's like, am I good enough? You know, it's questioning. Um, asking that question, why? You know, is there something wrong with me? What am I doing wrong, right? So self-love is required. And on the masculine side, there's number 24, so radiant maiden from the sea asserts her strength and authority, grasps her staff of powers grand. With eyes aloof, she takes her stand. Among the beasts of the sea and land, she schemes to make all them free. Why would she lead the likes of me? A powerful figure stands in the sea, surging with sea monsters. Her staff of power asserts her authority as the skies begin to brighten behind her. She is coming into her own and stretching her muscles, literally and figuratively. So the meaning is anticipate a new authority. The seas are turbulent with change, and soon new power shall arise. A new figure of authority will assert itself into your life, and it is best to be prepared, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and materially. The leader may be your professional, may be your professional, spiritual, academic, or social realm. There may be leadership challenges at your work, a new spiritual leader at your current place of worship, or at a new one or even a new acquaintance who will become prominent in your personal life. While a change of authority can be stressful or cause conflict for a time, take heart. Once the seas have calmed, life will return to a state of peace and stability. Take the time to get to know this new individual and learn how she conducts herself. Could she become a role model or mentor to you? Is she, is she a cautionary example or is she telling you it is time to move to calmer waters? So moving to calmer waters. Um, you know, what I'm seeing here is that the masculine is viewing the feminine as a very powerful 
being, right? She's the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles, queen of wands. And maybe he feels like he doesn't measure up on some level, right? Um, he, he's looking up to her and maybe doesn't feel that he compares and like I said and, and overcomes that ultimately right he knows within himself that um, he is the divine masculine right and so we kind of see that same conflict happening within um, the feminine as well questioning herself am I good enough and ultimately she discovers the truth so mirroring for sure so yeah all right, guys. I love you much. Peace.